This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions ranging from e-learning to instructor-led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. Menus, toolbars, wizards, and the quick access toolbar are what we're going to take a look at in this lesson. What you'll discover in Project 2010 is it has a nice new interface that you did not have in previous versions of Project. Let's go look at the toolbar area. First of all, across the top here, you now have, I'm going to click this little drop down arrow, it's called the Quick Access Toolbar, and anything that's currently checked on this drop-down list is going to be available on that Quick Access Toolbar. And you can modify this. All you do is click, and now the New button has been added, and you'll see there's a check mark next to New. Now, this is what Microsoft has suggested you will utilize frequently on the Quick Access Toolbar, but in a few minutes, we'll look at how you can put anything you want on the Quick Access Toolbar. All I want to look at right now is that you have a choice to show it above or below the ribbon. So I'm going to go ahead and say show below the ribbon. And now here it is on the screen below the ribbon. It's 100% up to you. I'm going to put it back at the top and leave it at the default. So I'm going to tell it to show above the ribbon. So now it's back at the top where it came from. Menus have disappeared, sort of. When you click on File, you still have, it looks very much like a menu. And for those of you who are missing your file menu, it's back, and you'll really, really enjoy that being there. The other thing is that when you're on any of the other tabs, you have ribbons that are now going to show, and so the ribbons are going to take you through the tasks that you need. They make sense, so as you're looking at items that have to do with the entire project, you're going to go to the Project tab and go looking for whatever the task might be along the ribbon. These are customizable, so you can change them, you can rearrange them, you can add things, you can remove things. It's totally up to you what these ribbons look like, and I'll show you in just a moment how you can modify those ribbons. One thing that you might miss is the project guide. Microsoft determined that the project guide was not as useful in Project 2010 because of the new environment and because of the new way that you can look at and work with the project environment. Although if you really, really want it, you can get the project guide back. So it is an option that's available, but you have to kind of jump through some hoops. And so I'm going to recommend that you don't need it anyway because this version of project is very, very user friendly. So let's take just a few moments to identify how you can change if you do not like the way the ribbons look and or back here at the top if you don't like the way the quick access toolbar is looking. So down at the bottom we have more commands and when you click on more commands a window opens up and these are the project options. The project's options can also be found through the file menu. So for those of you who are saying hey I've seen that in the file menu. It's the exact same options. It's just that it automatically pops up to the quick access toolbar segment. And what I want you to notice before I get started here is that what I'm going to show you in the quick access toolbar also works on this customized ribbon section. So on the customized ribbon, what we're going to do the quick access toolbar, look over here to the right, here are all of your ribbons and your ribbon tabs. You could be selecting the different tabs and then modifying the different tabs. For instance, this top one is the task tab, and if I click the plus sign to expand, this is everything on the task tab. So there's the view group, the clipboard group, and let me show you what I mean by group. Let me drag this out of the way. Let me see if, oh, it won't let me. I'll have to go to project for you. Here's the project tab, and you see there's the insert group, there's the properties group, the schedule group, the status group, and then there's reports and proofing. Those are referred to as groups. So now let's go back in here and let's go, let's collapse this one. And there's the project. You see insert, property, schedule, status, reports, and proofing. All those groups that we just looked at on the toolbar. So then what you would do is you would simply choose the group that you wanted to modify by collapsing or expanding, and you would add buttons into the group. So you would click on the group and then the ad is available. And so what we're going to do in the quick access toolbar would be identical here to customize the ribbons if you were choosing to customize the ribbons. 
more people choose to customize their quick access toolbar. So over here on the left, we're going to choose the quick access toolbar. And let's go through the steps on how to customize, whether it's here and or the ribbons. They customize the same way. You want to start at the top where you choose where the commands are coming from. The popular commands are just that, the most popular things that people use inside of project. But you may not find the task you want there. So if you drop the arrow down, the one that I use the most is all commands because they're alphabetically listed and a lot of times it's a lot faster to find it under all commands. But you'll notice that you can also find the commands on the task tab, the resource tab, and so on and so forth. And I'll scroll down. There are many other opportunities available. These are all of the special tabs that pop up based on what you have selected inside of your project. So I'm going to go to all because that's my favorite is all commands. It's everything is now alphabetically listed and I'm just going to scroll through just quickly to show you that look I'm still on there's the bees finally almost anything you can think of is going to be located in this area so let's discover that we want on a, and again we're talking about the quick access toolbar here in the top left hand corner we discover that the close button is not there and we'd like to add that to our quick, ac quick access toolbar you simply click on the task that you want and then you can use the add button or you can double click the task. It's totally up to you, whichever one you would prefer to do. And then it pops itself into the right side. Whatever you find here on the right side can be rearranged by using the arrows, the up and down arrows. So you can change where you've placed things. And if you realize, oh yeah, I didn't really want that there, then you simply click on remove and it takes it off of the quick access toolbar. So you would go scrolling through, looking for the features that you like. Let's see, I want the go to. I'm just kind of randomly selecting some. I want to mark on track. I use that one a lot. I use the options a lot. I use the resource sheet a lot. And then again, I could put them in the right order. Well, once I'm finished with this, at the bottom, you just want to say, OK. And now you'll see that my quick access toolbar has the new tools that I just placed on it. It's customizable to any number of items that I want to place on here. Excuse me, not any number, any items that I want to place on here. So you can place any items that you want to on this toolbar. Now don't worry about messing it up. You can't mess it up. If you don't like what you did, you just go back into more commands. And by the way, all I'm do is doing is clicking on that little drop down arrow there at the top. You go to more commands. And remember, what's on the right is what's on your toolbar. So if I don't want something here, I just highlight it and tell it to remove. Or if you just want to start over at the bottom here where it says customizations, you can just reset. I want to reset only the quick access toolbar or I want to reset everything, which would include any ribbons that I've changed. So I'm going to choose reset all customizations. And it says, really, you want to delete the ribbons and the toolbar, quick access toolbar customizations? Yes. So now everything that I may have changed on a ribbon or on the quick access toolbar are back to the defaults because during training I like to leave the defaults there so that my screen matches your screen while you're working on it as well. So I'll say OK to this to put away the quick access toolbar modifier and now I'm back out into my Windows environment and I again in the real world when you modify now you're more ready to start your project because you've set up your tools to work exactly the way that you want them to.